What's up everyone and welcome to Jedi Hobby for this Master Grade Curious full build experience. Stick with me throughout this short video and I will show you everything you need to know about this build. Bear in mind that I did try my best to clean up nut marks, some panel lines using Gundam prototype markers and I have used the provided stickers. So this is how it is supposed to look like out of the box. Speaking of the box, let's look back at the Dynamax one. I'm sure most of you would have noticed that Curious is actually flying in the background on this box art. And this time around on the Curious box art, we can see Virtue on the side. 3 Tyrant space types and the Tyrant Tauzi. If Bandai is following this box art revealing Tran, I'm not sure about you guys but I'm super super excited for all these upcoming releases. Bottom side of the box we can see the rear and front view. These ones here have been painted by the way, moving on we can see the flight form and some gimmicks here and there which I will show you later on. The other side of the box we can see some part of the inner frame, more gimmicks and the look of it without painting. Inside the box, we have this nice little booklet instruction manual. From here on, you can pause the video to have a read-through on some of the key information about this mobile suit and the pilot. So here we have the Gundam Curious itself, the pilot Alleluia Haptism, Super Soldier, the middle of the booklet, we have these beautiful colored pages containing more documentary about this Gundam. So here's a little bit about what happened in the story. Some information about the flight form, GN Beam Submachine Gun and the GN Shield, GN Hand Missile Unit, and finally GN Vernia and GN Beam Saber. Besides the instruction manual, there's also this double-sided flyer included in the box, which is all in Japanese so I can't read them. Right now, I'm going to talk about what you need to be careful or pay more attention to when building this kit. First up is the shoulder section, which is too far on the instruction. If you have trouble putting this on, you can actually pull out the joint, which you can then have better grip and handling. Same goes for the orange armor part that you build on top of those. The anchor armor, as shown in the instruction, requires you to put on H7 and H8 before attaching them, which will bend the plastic. I am a little paranoid, so I put on one of the side armor first, attach onto the leg, then only I put on the other side. Another thing you need to watch out for is when attaching the arms. Do not just force them in like this. There is a little bit sticking out here which aligns with the shape on this side, so attach them like so. Once you are done with the build, you will be left with all these unused spare parts. And here are all the accessories. We have the little standing Alleluia and him sitting in the cockpit. The GN shield is also a claw which can be opened up like this. You can slide the stabby stabby into place and it can be expanded as well. Once it is on the arm, you can rotate it around. The claw can be bent as well. As for the GN beam submachine gun, there's a little bit on the back side here where you can press it down and the side will pop up like so. The bottom slot can be attached on to the provided grips and this hole here can be attached to this part here, which goes on to the arm. Once they are on the arms, you can also pop in the GN hand missile units and it will look like this. There are also slots on the bottom of the missiles so you can post them like this. Beam sabers are provided and the handles are stored on the back skirt armor. As for the provided arms, we have the closed fist, wide spread, and weapon holding hands. The trigger finger hands are spare parts left on the runners, which is not used in this kit. Now I will just quickly go through the articulation. The head can be popped up like so and it is intended for the transformation. And it makes the head flexible. Basically, he can look everywhere you want him to look. The little ponytail is movable, also part of the transformation. These little yellow pointy bits can be folded away. The chest area is super fun to play with. You can tilt side to side pivoting around the GN drive. You have this forward crunch and back stretch. And the shoulders can be pulled out for a wider range of movement. The shoulder armor here can be folded up all the way like this, part of the transformation. So that's as far as the arm can raise. Pivot joint here and here, that's as far as the arm can bend. The wrist is the most complete joint. There is a hinge, a pivot, another hinge here and here. Here's a movable thumb. And the orange armor behind the arms are the only few ball joints you can find on this kit. On the back, we have this nose of the flight form with double hinge here. And this part is also on a hinge. Little clips here that hold the GN drive, which can store two LED units, not included by the way, I just took them out of the Dynamax. When it's lit up, you can see the little wording inside and the little bit of light show up on the back if you pull it out like this. But it's not really noticeable 
powerful so if you are getting LED unit for this, just get one and put it on the front. Below the waist it is on a pivot joint, the crotch is double jointed and can be extended like this which is part of the landing gear. Skirt armor here has a hinge and a ball joint which can be moved around like this. If you want it to fix in place, there's a little tap there for it. Back skirt armor is fixed at the moment but you can pull it out for ball joint movement. The beam saber here can be pulled out like this to free up the pivot joint movement and there is a hinge as well. The major joint on the legs are on a pivot joint and can be extended by pulling it down for more range of movement which is also part of the transformation. Almost poke his own eye there. Pivot joint here for this rotation. Then here's some cool armor separation on the knee and that is as far as you can bend the legs. Knee fin here can be pulled out and folded down. Part of the transformation. Ankle armor is on a hinge and this part is also on a hinge. The foot can be folded all the way down and the backside can be opened up. I've mentioned transformation so many times now so why don't we get to it. First up, don't forget the little action base adapter which you'll need to take out the back skirt armor in order to put it in. Fold away the yellow bits, pop up the head a little bit, fold down the ponytail, now we can lift up this whole part. Be careful around the ponytail here and fold the other part down. These two yellow parts needs to be folded up and can be a little loose. Put on this part here which we have seen before and rotate the arms facing inside. Extend the leg parts. We have to pull up this little tab on the shoulder. I use a tweezer because it's really hard to just use your fingernail. Fold up both arms so that the little tab on the shoulder armor clicks into this hole. Bring the arms down and fold up the wrist. Adjust the orange armor here. Turn the legs facing up. Outward, bring it slightly out, folding here slightly, bring the foot down, bring the knee fin down, pop the vernier by pushing the bit here, turn the foot this way and we're almost done. The weapons you can choose between the missile or the rifle. And the shield needs to open up a little bit and place it on the arm. And here is the flight mode. And it can be turned into landing form as well. The rifle side needs to be stowed away, pull out the crotch and open up the back foot armor and you got yourself a landing form. Here's a brief overview to wrap up this video. This is an amazing kit as you have all expected from the previous Master Grade Dynamax as they share the same inner frame. It is flexible and it is solid. So you can get it hold on to any dynamic poses you can think of and it will hold the pose no problem. But it is not without its flaw. When it is in flight form, the two little yellow parts is very loose and there is nothing to hold it in place. Besides the shoulder armor there, nothing is locked on tightly in this form. You can see that this orange armor can still freely move around. There is no definite fixture around the leg area so you have to adjust accordingly. And it will never be exactly symmetrical because there is so many moving parts. When you have the GN shield on, it is heavier on this side. So you will always see it slightly slanted when it is on the action base. The landing gear on the crotch is not really functional. The main contact point with the ground are the tip of the chest and the two parts on the legs. And when transforming it, it is a little awkward were to properly handle it because of too many parts sticking out. But that does not change the fact that this overall is still an amazing kit and it is definitely worth buying. For custom builders, we got a whole bunch of spare parts here, some spare stickers, unfortunately these are not water slide decals, and you got yourself this holographic sheet for future customization. I'm looking at you Justin from Studio G, show us your crazy skill. So that wraps up my video. Please share, like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.